Hi, my name is Simon and I am the CEO of Code2. In this series of video tutorials, I'm going to show you how to use Code2 Email Signatures 365, the world leading cloud service used by over 50,000 companies in 150 countries. In this tutorial, I will guide you through the basics like creating a Code2 admin panel account and adding your Microsoft 365 tenant to Code2. It's quick and easy, so let's begin. To start using Code2 signatures in your organization, go to code2.com forward slash email signatures. Click the free trial button to create a Code2 admin panel account. You can create a dedicated Code2 account here or use your Microsoft account. Let's use the Microsoft account option, which opens a Microsoft sign-in page. Once you sign in, you need to accept the permissions necessary to associate your Microsoft account with Code2 Admin Panel. Our service uses OAuth 2 to protect your data, so it never reads or stores your credentials, but only gets encrypted access tokens from Microsoft 365 to securely complete the account setup. Next, you need to accept our terms and privacy policy, and you might also need to give us a little bit more information about you to proceed. Once you do so, your new account is created, and voila, you're signed in to Code 2 Admin Panel. Admin Panel is where you manage your Microsoft 365 tenants, signature settings, and subscriptions. If this is the first Code 2 account created by your organization, you're automatically its owner. This means you can manage things like your organization's billing information and invite other people to become organization's admins in Code 2 Admin Panel. Before you create any Code 2 email signatures, you first need to register your Microsoft 365 tenant to Code 2. It will also start a 14-day free trial for this tenant. Click here to launch a wizard that will guide you all the way through. So first you need to read the license agreement, accept it, and click Next. Now you need to associate your tenant with Code 2 by clicking here. You need to sign in with your tenant's Microsoft 365 Global Admin account and accept the permissions that are needed to include user data and email signatures. Our service will never ask you to grant more permissions than necessary to perform its current task. Okay, you're signed in now, so click Next. You can now choose an Azure region where Code 2 will keep your settings. This is also where your signatures will be added if you choose the cloud signature mode in the next step. I'll get to that in a minute. Each region features at least two data centers for high availability purposes. You can select the same region as your Microsoft 365 tenant, for example, for compliance reasons, or any other depending on your organization's policy. Just note that the region is selected once for a tenant and cannot be changed later. The next step is where you choose one of the signature modes. Don't know what these modes are? Let me quickly explain. There are three ways in which Code 2 can add signatures in your organization. Cloud mode, aka server side, Outlook mode, aka client side, and combo. In the cloud mode, when you send an email, it goes to your Microsoft 365 tenant, then to our email signature service, that sits in the Azure region you selected previously. This is where the signature is added. And then your message goes to the final recipient. This mode works with all email apps and devices. If you want users to use signatures as they type an email, choose the Outlook, aka client side signature mode. This mode uses a modern Outlook add-in that adds the signature as you compose an email in your Outlook app. Users like this mode a lot because it gives them full control of their signature. They can modify it, select another one, or even remove it. But if you want the best of both signature modes, use the combo mode. In this mode, the signatures in Outlook are added as you type an email, while emails sent from other email clients get the signature in the cloud. So if you want full control and want to have signatures added to emails from all apps and devices, Choose the default mode that adds signatures in the cloud after emails are sent. Click Next to proceed. In the SPF Records tab, we ask you to add this entry to your domain's SPF record. This prevents emails from Code 2 signatures from being treated as spam by Exchange Online Protection. After you update your SPF record, click here to quickly validate it. 
If you're not familiar with SPF and don't know how to update it, use this link for detailed instructions. You'll also find the link in the video's description. Let's move to the next step. To get signatures in the cloud, you need to create Exchange Online connectors that will route your company's email through Code 2. The wizard can create these connectors automatically for you. You just need to authorize us to do so by following the on-screen instructions. When the Microsoft sign-in page opens, be sure to use your organization's global admin account. Again, your credentials are safe as they are passed directly and only to Microsoft. Once the authorization completes successfully, go to the next step. This step is very important because here you need to specify senders whose emails should go through code to service to get signatures. You can select all users in your organization or limit the scope to members of a specific group. Use this option to determine if signatures should be added to internal emails, which is the default behavior, or not. Note that you will be able to reconfigure the scope of users later if you need. Click Next to start the deployment. The process takes only a few minutes. That's when we add your Microsoft 365 Tenant to Code 2 Admin Panel and issue a unique certificate necessary for the correct operation of Exchange Online Connectors. If you authorize us to configure the connectors for you, our software will do this now as well. Click Finish once the deployment is complete, and that's basically it. Welcome on board. It usually takes just a few minutes for the changes to propagate across your Microsoft 365, so use this time to set up email signatures. See our quick video guide for step-by-step -step instructions. You'll find the link at the end of this video and in the description. Thanks for watching.